Hello YouTube, so for today's video, I thought I would take you a little bit more in depth of how I film TikToks. I've shown you this before in some of my vlog my day videos, but I thought I'd show you a little bit more of, of the specifics of how I film my videos. If you didn't know, I have a TikTok. I've been posting on there since April, 2020. I have just under 17,000 followers, which is just absolutely crazy. I'm posting lots and lots of dance content from Drag Race, Glee, musical theater, tons of other things. So if you're interested in seeing anything like that, go follow me here, TSS6295, posting pretty much every day, <laughs> getting some fun stuff planned in the future as well. So I hope you go over and check that out as well. But without further ado, let's go check out how I film my TikToks. First part of my setup for filming TikToks is changing the whole room into a dance studio, essentially just because we have the space. So I move the couch over there into that corner and I move the coffee table over here to the window. So then I also have a good place to set up my computer so I can learn my dance. of my setup for filming TikToks is my phone, which is right here. I have it on a tripod here in the corner and I set it up this way so it is looking directly to the corner. I found that the corner is the best spot to have my phone because it gives me the most space to go back and forward while filming as well as side to side, the space to like be able to kick my face and do everything I need to do and run back and forth and yeah. So in setting up my camera, I always make sure there's a little bit of room right here on the side because then I'm able to make sure that everything will fit in the camera angle for TikTok because it always crops it slightly in that way. So having that little bit of extra room there on the side gives me a little bit more to play with. So on a day like today where I am double filming, meaning that I am filming three videos for one day and three videos for another day, I change my outfits so I can post it on a couple different days and not look like I'm wearing the same thing. So this is my second shirt for today. This is my first one that I'm wearing first. And of course, got my sneakers right there. And of course, water to stay hydrated. I also always make sure to turn on the air conditioning because when I'm dancing, I get pretty sweaty and having the air conditioning on is really nice. Now that the whole room is set up and I'm ready to film, Carbon is chilling here in the background with me, I'm going to set up my videos here on my computer. I'm going to pull up the six videos that I'm going to learn my little sections from. I choose 15 second to a minute long sections just because that's the easiest way to go about it. Best way to learn things pretty quickly as well. I've gotten a pretty good system down of how to learn my dances fairly quickly so it doesn't take like three hours to film video. Sometimes it does if I'm doing like full dances in my one woman production series. Uh, sometimes also if my brain is just not on, it takes me a little bit longer to learn dances, but hopefully today shouldn't take too long to learn because right now it is three o'clock. So <laughs> gonna get started on that. I'm still filming in my Drag Race series currently. Today I am filming Aja's talent show, Valentina's talent show, and the finally lip sync from season nine. Widows, I'm That Bitch first, Sonique versus Morgan Michaels, their lip sync, and the Starships lip sync from season 12. Some of them are a little bit hard right now just because they are fast and some fast choreography and some tricks as well. I know Aja's has some death drops in it, so I have to go over that as well. I've sort of gotten down the death drop, but not very well. It's, it's a very interesting kind of death drop. So yeah, let's go pull up these videos, watch them, learn them, and get started. <music>
section of the dances that I'm going to do. Got our sneakers on. Let's do it. So people on TikTok have asked me how I learned my dances and literally it is exactly like this. I have the videos on my computer here. I put them on full screen and I just watch them over and over again to make sure I can get each section down. I separate the section that I have chosen to dance into a smaller sections, maybe like eight counts to 16 counts, just so I can make sure I get that bit down, make sure I have that and move on to the next and then the next and then connect all of them. And then when I feel ready enough, I decide to film them. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm right, okay. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, seven, eight. One, turn. How unfortunate. Now to the best camp. Yeah. Once I think I've gotten an okay take, come over to my phone and check it out. <sighs> All right, I've decided that go was the best I'm gonna be able to get this one down because this one has a lot of tricks in it. So then paper it on my phone and go on to the next one. So let's just keep dancing. <laughs> just finished my first three so now changing into my second shirt for my second three that's about 35 minutes for learning those three which really is not too bad at all making progress getting it done I'm very sweaty <laughs> so um, usually when I'm doing a double homing day I take like a five to ten minute break in between my three dances and my other three dances so that's what I'm gonna do right now and then we'll jump right back in to learning these last three let's also note that there are construction workers here who I've been given a free show to pretty much every day when I film. So construction guys, I hope you enjoy my dancing.
morning. It is 4.30, an hour on the dot, and I have finished filming my TikToks. Woo woo! So now I'm going to reset the room up back to its normal. Today. I hope you enjoyed getting to see a little bit more of an in-depth look at how I film my TikToks. The last thing I have to do for them before I can upload them is to edit them, um, meaning that I put them on my computer, cut them up the right way so they're the right length, and add the actual music to it from the video clip. So it all sounds good as not hearing my huffing and puffing while I'm dancing. So that's all I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed getting to see a little bit more of an in-depth look at how I film my TikToks. Thank you so much for watching DFTBA, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!